What's going on buddies, welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna create this decent medieval barrel in Blender. So without wasting the time, let's begin the process. Before we start I should mention that my voice is a little bit croaky and in the case of it bothers you, sorry about that. Okay, select this box here and delete it and uh, let's add a cylinder. And from this part you can decrease its vertices to something like 24 or just leave it uh, at 32 it's completely up to you it's an optional thing and come to edit mode and scale it on the z-axis a little bit something like this i think it's good and come to front orthographic view and add some loop cuts maybe five or seven to have more control on the editing and modeling then let's try to make the barrel shape select this loop cut and this one too and scale them and we don't want to scale in all of the axes and for doing that to, uh, for to limit it to just x and y axis we should just press s and shift z to limit it to x and y axis and let's decrease its scale scale it down a little bit and let's start from the middle part to have more control and press S and repeat the same process scale it a little bit and this one and this one scale it on the Y and X axis too we are just repeating the same process and about this one and this one scale them down too somewhere like this and select this one and this one scale them on the Z axis a little bit and scale them down to somewhere like scale them up a little bit to make the shape better and scale it down we did too much for these ones it's, it's going to be better and about this one and this one Scale them a little bit down, high, sorry, and this one too. And maybe we can scale it on the Z axis, the whole thing, a little bit to have a better result. Yes, that's much better now. Now we have the main shape of the barrel, so quick and so fast. And let's add two surrounding metals, I don't know what it's called but i saw in the pictures that they have two surrounding metal parts on the mm, below part and the higher part then select these loop cuts and press shift d to duplicate them and right click to cancel the grabbing part and so and select p and uh, select uh, selection to separate this part and now if you see we have two separate parts one of the, one of them is this barrel and the other one is this one and select these ones the new parts that we created and press tab to go to edit mode and a to select all the faces and alt e uh, with pressing alt e you will be able to extrude the faces along their normals and it's so useful and we can extrude them a little bit along their normals somewhere like this we don't need it to do too much it's enough because it's it will be a very thin metal part from the new barrel and the final thing and modeling uh, you can select these ones and it's completely optional you can do it or if you don't like you there is no need to do it select two of them and press i and insert them a little bit and come to front orthographic view and enable the x-ray mode and press alt e again and extrude faces along normals and let's extrude them down a little bit somewhere like this and disable this and come to object mode yeah and this is done we model the barrel and also let's shade smooth this one and this one and don't panic we're having a mm, weird shape here but we can face it easily we can correct it easily we can come here 
this part and on the normals tab you can add enable the auto smooth to fix this issue let's do the same thing for this one too the barrel one and yes we did it we have a nice barrel and let's try to give it a nice texture and come to the shading part let's add uh, enable the skin cascades here too we wanna add a uh, we want to add a texture to the barrel first, then I'm going to add a metal texture to the metal parts. Select this barrel and click on new to add a new texture. And select this principal PSDF and press Ctrl T to bring these nodes here. We have image texture, mapping node and texture coordinate. And in the case of uh, not working uh, for you, just come here, edit and preferences and uh, add-ons and search here for node regular and it will you, uh, from here you can enable it and then it will work for you as well then let's open the texture of planks here i downloaded the textures from polyhaven and texture.com the, which the links are in the description you can download them and it's completely free and you can use it in your own project as well now it has a weird texture and we don't want it to be like that come to the UV editing tab and let's fix the this issue of UVs for fixing it there are several ways but I'm going to go along with the mark scene technique Select this one and this one as well and also come to the blow part and uh, select this loop cut here and also this loop cut and uh, control E and mark seam these loop cuts and then control uh, and then press A and U then UV unwrap and we have a clear clear more clear loop cut here but it's still the main part is not good and for fixing it let's go to the back side of the barrel by pressing ctrl and the one we're in the back side back view back or graphic view and select this loop cut on the back side because it's uh, it won't be visible and we can easily add the marks into this loop cut too and marks in this and again press a and u then unwrap and we have a much clearer look at now then come to shading part and just scale them a bit for something like three or maybe we can do five or four yes i think five is good five is better than or maybe four let's leave it as four for now and you can add a roughness and bump node for that too as well let's add them to uh, select this one and duplicate it by pressing uh, shift d and uh, click on this one and let's open the normal map sorry not normal the rough the roughness map too and connect it connect the color to the roughness and also let's connect the vector part of mapping to the vector part of this uh, roughness too for using the same mapping nodes here and as you see we have a great roughness and for our, uh, for our barrel and then let's add the last part of the texturing of barrel and it's for normals and the bump node here Let's, add, let's uh, duplicate it again by, by pressing shift D and uh, click on here and add the normal maps image and then again connect this vector to the vector and search for by pressing ctrl A and search for the bump node and then you can connect the normal to the normal and color to the height and We'll have, a, we'll have a strong result 
but it's so it's too much for us let's decrease it somewhere like this yes this is very good and we have a great mapping and texturing for the barrel and let's add another texture for the middle part click on new as we did for the barrel and select this one in Control t and now we can open the great metal medieval texture we can add this texture and i think it's good yeah it's good then duplicate this one text image texture and let's add the roughness part to the roughness picture and collect uh, connect the color to the roughness and i think it is a little bit too much let's control it by adding a color ramp node and the color ramp you can control it manually by hand you can have more controls on it mm, i think maybe change the place of color black and white and let's give it a grayish color also this white ones too let's decrease it something like this and maybe this one should be a little bit darker and i think it is much better than before maybe something like this yeah it's good and let's i forgot to connect this vector to the vector part okay this is good and maybe we can add the map uh, the normal part to do this as well let's add a bump node and connect the normal to the normal and height to the color and also let's connect the vector to the vector to use the same mapping as we did for this for the previous ones and again it's too much let's decrease it something like this it will be so subtle but it's so effective in our modeling and when you render the scene it will affect your whole scene okay and yes we've done we've modeled and textured this decent barrel if you're interested in learning blender and 3d stuff just click on the red button below to subscribe my channel and also like the video if it was useful for you and hit the notification bell in the case of not missing any new videos and support and help me to grow my channel by leaving a comment below uh, if this video was helpful and useful for you or not and what other things you're up to learn in blender so see you on the next video